Oh, no, you don't, Bob. No, you don't. Well, I have to say it's just better than important because I'm on my flipping vacation. We have to film Mr. Rose. Well, I'm sure you can handle it. I gotta go. Bye. Are you joking me? What's up, bro? Oh, what's up, Chris? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude, we need to film Mr. O. You said you're on vacation. What does it look like I'm doing? God. You're vacationing in my backyard? Dude, you could have told me that. We need to film Mr. O. You could have gone right upstairs, like 15 feet away, you know, taking 20 minutes from your vacation and film Mr. O, dude. That's really important. We gotta get this done. What do you mean this is your backyard? Clearly this is Hawaii. Look at the frickin' palm trees and this pond! Steve-O, I swear to God, if you're not upstairs in five minutes, I'm gonna beat your ass so hard that when you go to the doctor, they're not gonna be able to recognize your face! Yeah, 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 maybe I'll have time after my massage. Mr. O, Mr. O, ask your questions to Mr. O. Yo, 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 yo! Welcome to the seventh edition of the Mr. O Show! What's up, Mofo? Alrighty, let's get right down to the first question of the day! Our first question comes from Aisha. She has a three part question. Her first question is Tigman, what's your fave TV show? Well, we've been over this. Family Guy. But I'm gonna add another one Modern Family. That, that shows the sh. This show and this show are the best. Her next part of the question is Do you still have your pet tiger, Ben? <laughs> Absolutely. I sleep with him every night. He's on my bed, big old thing. I sleep on him like a pillow. Keeps me safe at night. I mean, who needs guns? Who needs? I mean, a, a tiger. I can freaking have him attack anyone if I want. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't killed any more cops, has he? No. You don't seem very sure about that. Devo, did he eat another cop? Dude, dude, we talked about this. You're gonna get in trouble. I just came in my basement. Oh my, you're gonna get in so much trouble, Steve-O. Who goes down there? Anyhow, the third part of the question is, can I have Ben? No! Are you out of your flippin' mind, lady? Where do you get off? He's mine! Get your f***ing home! The next question is, Survivor fan, 2010 Todd. I love Survivor. You know, where people have to survive, where people already live. <laughs> like, what is that just kidding, you can like crappy shows if you want. Their question is... Mr. O, if you and Chris were married... Steve-O, how long would you be together before the divorce? I wouldn't marry Chris. I have this thing called morals. And if in some crazy universe that's not real life that me and Chris would get together, obviously there wouldn't be a divorce. I'm Mr. O, and no one would want to leave this fine piece of craftsmanship. This next part is for Chris. Chris, would you adopt a kid for you and Steve-O? I, I wouldn't be with Steve-O. Why does this keep getting brought up? I don't understand. Steve-O and I are friends and we don't like each other. What? What? Why? If I was in a relationship, yeah, I could see myself adopting a kid because I, I want to be a father and I think adoption's cool, you know, like helping out a kid. Who needs it? Who doesn't have a family? That's great. But not with Steve-O. Yeah, but I mean really- Alright, alright, yeah. Steve-O, I'm on. answering the question. Come on, Steve-O, I'm right. answering the question! Oh, come on! Steve-O, I'm Dad, answering- I want to know your life question, your life story, <laughs> Our next question comes from Stringa Thinga. <laughs> question is, Mr. O, it has come to my attention that you and the lady guest in your bed were bumping uglies for four days. Where do you get your impressive stamina? There wasn't just one girl. Shoot, there was like 27, and I took care of them all myself. Hey, 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 that's what's up. And about my stamina, I mean, I'm Mr. O, d Like, look at this. I mean, come on. Our next question comes from The Kylie K Show. Their question is, Mr. O, if you were a polar bear, how many watermelons would be in the Chinese airport? That doesn't make any sense. The answer, by the way, is 147. The next question comes from Rash Hummarberg? What? I'm no fools. Their question is, do you have any embarrassing poop or pee stories? If so, please share. Of course not, I'm classy as but uh, I think Chris does, do you? Kinda. Well, just, just say it. Just, oh, frickin'. 
Hey. I went camping, and I really had to take a crap. And at the time, we were hiking, and there was nothing around for miles. No restrooms or toilet paper or anything. I went in a bush and did my business in a bush in the wild. There were no toilet paper, paper towels, nothing. So I grabbed the leaves near me and tried wiping with leaves, which felt so weird. And then, out of nowhere, like, it started feeling itchy and weird. Apparently, I don't think it was poisonous oak, but it was some type of, some type of poisonous plant, and it was really itchy, and it sucked. And yeah, uh, it, it didn't feel good for the rest of the trip. I had a very itchy hole, to say the least. Well, that's disgusting. Now it's time for the word of the week. And the word of the week is advisory. Hence, I got advisory behind me. See? Be advised. This bad comes with a warning. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions that you would like me to answer on the next edition of the Mr. O Show, please leave them in the comment box below. Or you can add reply me at my Twitter, and that will be also the link will also be below. Thank you so much for watching! Peace and love. And I'm out, homies! Ah!